Hey, what's up guys? It's Kevin here with Fandroid.com. We're taking a look at the latest update to the Google Play Store on Android. This is version 3.5.15 and it might not look that different on the surface, but it actually has some pretty good functionality built in now that we weren't getting before. Stuff that we saw in the online store but weren't able to access on our phones like better sorting of reviews and filtering by device and uh, app version and also some updates with how your installed apps and purchased apps are listed. So let's take a look at the new features and uh, see what's going on in the new Google Play Store. What's pretty nice about the latest Google Play update is that reviews are now more in-depth, just like on the online store. We have um, listed the actual device that made the review, so you can see this was Droid X2 person was reviewing that. We can uh, sort by most helpful or newest reviews first. And we also have the option to see reviews for just the latest version of the app and also just from this type of phone. So if we select both of those, we'll get reviews that are only the newest version of Angry Birds Rio and only made from a Galaxy Nexus. So very cool for being able to sort through and see just how an app stacks up on your device. When you access the My App section of the Google Play Store, it's now been simplified into two swipeable tabs. You have Installed, and you swipe over and you have All. On the Installed screen, you're going to see all the apps that you currently have installed on your phone. This is also where you're going to see the apps that are up to date and which apps need to be updated. So this is going to be the screen where you manage the apps on your phone and uh, get the latest versions when you're prompted to update. Now if you swipe over to All, this is going to be every app that you've ever downloaded or purchased, even if it's not installed on your device. So you can see I have a bunch here that I don't currently have installed on my Galaxy Nexus, but if I wanted to go back and grab one of these apps, I can just hit it again. And if it's a purchased app, you know, it'll have my data saved and I won't have to buy it again. Um, so it does simplify the UI, but it does make it a little bit more difficult to go through and find the apps that you've purchased, the apps that you've downloaded and installed, because there's such a long list, you see, and there's no real way to sort through this. I can just keep going through here to see everything that I've ever downloaded since I've had an account uh, in the Android market or now the Google Play Store. So some people are going to need to adjust to this. They might not like it that much, but I think um, it's a pretty good change, and it makes it a, a little bit more functional, a little bit more uh, streamlined for looking through your apps and checking to make sure you have the latest versions or going back and getting an app that you need to re-download onto your new device. That's what you can expect in the latest update to the Google Play Store. Again, it might already be on your device, so check it out. It's version 3.5.15. If it's not there, it'll be coming shortly, or again, you can find an APK to download online and install. This is Kevin with Fandroid.com. Thanks for watching.